Leukemia often is defined as the proliferation of neoplastic hematopoietic cells in the bone marrow, which typically results in circulating neoplastic hematopoietic cells. Most commonly, the number of circulating neoplastic cells is greater than 5 times 10 to the 9th per liter. The bone marrow often is hypercellular due to proliferation of neoplastic cells. Normal hematopoietic cells often are decreased. In some cases, the neoplastic proliferation initially occurs in the spleen, with bone marrow involvement occurring later in the disease. Although leukemia is relatively rare in dogs and cats, the diagnosis and classification is important in establishing prognosis and treatment. The diagnosis initially is based on results of a complete blood count, or CBC, and examination of cell morphology. However, morphologic evaluation of neoplastic hematopoietic cells has limitations. Cytochemical staining, as shown in this dog with acute myeloid leukemia, may be helpful for classification, but it is not widely available. Immunophenotyping by flow cytometry may be more sensitive and specific in classifying neoplastic hematopoietic cells, as shown in this dog with acute lymphoid leukemia. Information about clonality from DNA-based testing, such as polymerase chain reaction for antigen receptor rearrangement, or PAR, also may be helpful, as shown in this dog with chronic lymphoid leukemia. Classification of hematologic malignancies in people incorporates genetic data, but this type of information is not yet widely available in veterinary medicine. There are two broad categories of leukemia based on cell lineage, myeloid and lymphoid. Myeloid leukemias include neoplastic proliferation of erythrocytes, granulocytes, monocytes, and megakaryocytes. Lymphoid leukemias can involve B or T lymphocytes, natural killer cells, or plasma cells. Leukemias also are classified as acute or chronic based on differentiation of the neoplastic cells and clinical course. The neoplastic cells in acute leukemias appear immature, whereas chronic leukemias are characterized by cells that appear more differentiated. In general, acute leukemias have a more aggressive clinical course than chronic leukemias. Dogs and cats with acute myeloid leukemia, or AML, frequently have a relatively acute onset of variable clinical signs. Typically, there are high numbers of circulating neoplastic cells that appear immature based on their large size, basophilic cytoplasm, fine chromatin, and prominent nucleoli. Moderate to marked non-regenerative anemia, neutropenia, thrombocytopenia, or some combination of cytopenias is relatively common. The classification of AML is complicated. Although it is important to distinguish between acute and chronic leukemia, because of limited treatment options and poor prognosis for acute leukemias, the clinical relevance of distinguishing between acute myeloid and acute lymphoid leukemia and the further characterization of AML remains to be determined in dogs and cats. To classify AML, 200 to 500 nucleated cells in a bone marrow aspirate are differentiated to calculate a myeloid to erythroid ratio and to determine the percentages of BLAS. BLAS are greater than 20 to 30 percent of all nucleated cells in AML. Cytochemical staining and immunophenotyping may provide helpful information, but many of the monoclonal antibodies and chromosomal markers used to distinguish the various types of AML in people have either not been recognized in dogs and cats with AML or are not readily available for clinical patients. Chronic myeloproliferative disease in people comprises several diseases, including chronic myelogenous leukemia, or CML, chronic neutrophilic leukemia, eosinophilic leukemia, hyper-eosinophilic syndrome, and polycythemia vera, among others. The classification likely is similar in dogs and cats, but the diagnoses are not always used consistently. CML is rare in domestic animals and is characterized by insidious onset of relatively nonspecific clinical signs. The CBC is variable. Depending on the type of CML, there may be marked neutrophilia with a disorderly left shift in chronic granulocytic leukemia, marked eosinophilia in eosinophilic leukemia hypereosinophilic syndrome, and erythrocytosis in polycythemia vera. Marked inflammatory responses may be difficult to distinguish from CML involving neutrophils because both can be associated with marked neutrophilia with a left shift, marked granulocytic hyperplasia with disorderly maturation, less than 30% blast in the bone marrow,
and infiltration of the liver and spleen with granulocytic precursors. Diagnosis of CML often is by exclusion because consistent immunophenotypic and chromosomal markers have not yet been identified for dogs and cats with CML. Animals with CML have a longer survival time than those with AML, but most eventually develop a terminal blast crisis. Acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL, is associated with acute onset of variable clinical signs. There typically is moderate to marked lymphocytosis involving immature lymphoid cells based on their large size, basophilic cytoplasm, fine chromatin, and prominent nucleoli. There may be moderate to marked non-regenerative anemia, neutropenia, and thrombocytopenia. Neoplastic lymphocytes often express the cluster of differentiation, or CD antigen, CD34. Cells of B lymphocyte lineage express CD20, CD21, and or CD79A, whereas cells of T lymphocyte lineage express CD3 and either CD4 or CD8. Whether B or T cell lineage is clinically relevant in dogs and cats with ALL is unclear. The prognosis for dogs and cats with ALL is poor. Some dogs with lymphoma have numerous circulating neoplastic cells that may resemble the neoplastic lymphocytes in dogs with ALL. The distinction between circulating neoplastic cells from lymphoma and ALL may be important for prognosis and treatment. The neoplastic cells from dogs with lymphoma typically do not express CD34, whereas the neoplastic cells from dogs with ALL often do express CD34. Clinical signs associated with chronic lymphoid leukemia, or CLL, may be minimal, and in many cases, the diagnosis is made incidentally from a CBC collected for routine health or pre-surgical evaluation. Mark lymphocytosis is common, but in some cases, lymphocytes are within normal limits. There is a clonal population of neoplastic lymphocytes that often resemble well-differentiated lymphocytes, but cell size is variable. Nuclei may have smooth rather than condensed chromatin, and some cells may have cleaved nuclei. In some cases, the lymphocytes have a moderate amount of pale cytoplasm compared to scant cytoplasm in normal lymphocytes. In most dogs with CLL, the proliferating neoplastic cells are T cell lineage, and most of these are large granular lymphocytes, which is a subset of T lymphocytes characterized by azurophilic granules in the cytoplasm. Non-regenerative anemia, if present, typically is mild. Neutropenia and thrombocytopenia are uncommon. The bone marrow and spleen may be infiltrated with neoplastic lymphocytes, but peripheral lymphadenopathy usually is absent. The clinical course for CLL may be months to several years. Some dogs with infectious diseases, for example, or like a canis infection, have lymphocytosis that resembles CLL. Polymerase chain reaction for rearrangement of antigen receptors, or PAR, may be helpful in differentiating polyclonal lymphocyte proliferations associated with infectious disease or inflammatory diseases from CLL.